Uh, today's topic is uh, the history of Dairy Queen. Oh, Dairy oh, Queen. Big fan. Oh, I thought no. you said yeah. I thought you said Gary Queen. <laughs> no, no. Uh, okay. he refrained from comment. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dairy Queen was started, uh, well, Jack McCullough and his son Alex invented a soft serve ice cream, and uh, they asked their buddy Sherb Noble, oh. who owned an ice cream store, if they could sell it there. Sherb gave it a whirl. Uh, all you can eat, 10 cents. They sold 1,600 uh, cones in two hours. All you, all you uh, can eat, 10 cent cones? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> My man here can eat 50 cones. 50. <laughs> <laughs> Cool hand, Josh. <laughs> now, Tom, uh, Tom, how did we get on the topic one day that you worked at a Dairy Queen and you did the little flip with your... With no, no, I, yeah, the machine was broken. So The I machine was broken. Put a scoop on there, put it in my mouth, and, went, and handed it to the kids. Oh. To make the swirl. Oh, the cue? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, is that yeah. what they call that, the cue? The cue at the top. Yeah, of the, the curly cue yeah. at the top, yeah. Oh. Tom did you that with his mouth. You guys know who else worked at... Uh, yeah. You know who else worked at uh, Dairy Queen? Who? Uh, uh, Gwen Stefani oh. and her brother Eric and John Spence, all from the band No Doubt. Wow. Yeah. Did not know that. That's cool. They did that. That's where they formed the band, No Doubt. Uh, and you can hear evidence of that in her uh, her song, Hollaback Girl. You sure can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This split is bananas. B A N A. <laughs> you know, I've been singing that wrong. <laughs> yeah, I think you have. B A N A N A. And I got to weigh in. I, the banana split, uh, not good. I, you know, I've never liked it. Not, but I, I love Dairy Queen. You hate right, the pineapple right. part, don't you? Uh, yeah, I agree with you. The crushed pineapple has no place I agree. on that thing. I agree. Hmm. I'm with you guys. I don't care for it. Uh, Tom, where do you stand on the peanut buster parfait? Go, Tom. Big fan. Big fan. Yeah. Wow. May I make a quick confession? Uh -oh. I've never had a peanut buster parfait. Well, what? not really. No, no hang the on. Spanish peanuts are great. That is a really good now thing. Now you're just yeah. lying and or playing with us or both. I, I'm really doing neither. I'm a blizzard man. And so when I yeah. go to Dairy Queen, it's a blizzard what for me. What kind of blizzard? Same, same flavor? I enjoy Reese's uh, or cookie dough. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Do you ever have them take the chili and turn that over? See if it's. <laughs> I've I've been burned. Yeah, 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 gravity. Well, let's talk about the blizzard, guys. It was uh, it was stolen. What? It was a, a, a stolen idea from my hometown, uh, St. Louis frozen custard place called Ted Drews. I know it well. <laughs> Ted Drews. Back in the day, they uh, this kid. Stephen Gamber. He was 15 years old, and he kept coming up to the window and saying, "I want my malt thicker." And uh, after like a week, they just started turning the malt upside down and handing it to him. Mm -hmm. oh. And uh, there's this Dairy Queen franchisee, Sam Sam the Thief Temperado. Who, uh, <laughs> yeah. Sammy the Thief stole the idea and took it to Dairy Queen. And Dairy Queen, uh, you know, started, it was called, they're called Concretes. They still serve them that way at Ted Drew's. It's a legendary place in mm -hmm. St. Louis. Um, so yeah, the blizzards, you know, if you... If they don't turn it upside down, you get the blizzard for free. And if it uh, if it runs all over, you know, you get it for free. And, so, but, you know, just knowing the employees these days, that just seems like a bad idea. You know, there's some poor Dairy Queen manager like, yeah, Kirby, uh, <laughs> it's the blizzards that we turn upside down, <laughs> not the soft drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now pick up those chicken tenders. <laughs> <laughs> but he said, he went, so he walked up to the window, the first kid, what did he say? I want the malt thicker. Oh, okay, because down the street there was a guy in St. Louis that said, I want the malt liquor. <laughs> yes, yes, there was. <laughs> and a pack of salmon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, uh, Tom, there are no Is King right? Cobra flavored blizzards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, you guys were talking, we were talking about the peanut buster parfait back in uh, 1973 for, for about a 30 year stretch. Dennis, the menace was the uh, spokesman. Is that for, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Absolutely. I think, uh, Mr. Wilson ha had him fired. There <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Poor Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Greg, don't yeah, you he remember? Got it. 
don't you remember the batting helmets? Like Major League Baseball had batting yes, helmets. Yes, totally. Queen. And uh, yes, and they also had NFL miniature NFL helmets. So you awesome. could get you the, yep. yeah you could get all the all the teams right. Yep, absolutely all the teams. That's right. Um, back in the day, if if you uh if you went up there in 1973, if you said uh, scrump delicious. Mm -hmm. You could get a forty-nine cent uh, peanut butter parfait. Whoa! Yeah, huh. which uh, <laughs> you know there had to be some guys like my dad to be like, no, nope, I'm not saying it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll pay full. No, price. sir, sir. Yeah. If you uh, if you say it, if you say scrump delicious, it only costs forty-nine cents. Yeah, I'm not. You know what I can say? <laughs> Baskin Robbins. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you guys remember the Mr. Misty? Yes. yes. I'm not familiar. It's kind of like a Slurpee before they... Yeah. Okay. Slurpee. Yeah, it was a slushy. Yeah, it was slushy, a slushy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Came out in uh, 1961. 24 years later, uh, they had a hit, uh, Kiri. <laughs> no, I, I believe that was Mr. Mister. Uh, uh, I'll take a look at it, Josh. But all I right. So. I don't mean to correct you. Well, yeah, I could be wrong. All right. It's my report, Josh. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You did the research. <laughs> uh, did you do seven minutes of research on Dairy Queen, Josh? I no, don't think no. so. I'll take my broken wings and fly <laughs> away. Slink, slink away. <laughs> And, uh, and, and Mr. They tried Mr. Frozen. They were brought back in that song. Oh yeah, Maroon Five what? mentioned yeah. or Train, yeah. one of those. Yeah. 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 Train. Yeah. Train. Oh really? Soul, oh yeah. Soul Sister. Yeah. Soul yeah. Sister. Hey Soul Sister, thank you, Mister Mister, Mister. Mister on the stereo. Yep. Oh yeah, man. I didn't. I never caught that. Um, they they tried Frozen Yogurt in the 1990s. Mm. I don't remember that. Yeah, nobody wanted it, Christy. It, <laughs> it, it all went bad before they could sell it. Oh. They're, you, you, they need to know who they are, right? right. I mean, they're yeah. Dairy Queen. Exactly. Yeah. They don't stand for health. It was also uh, didn't work when they tried that uh, chain of aerobics studio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lady Dairy Queen. <laughs> Lady, <yeah. laughs> Lady Dairy Air Queen, I believe, was what it was. Uh, Eminem uh, Mars started talking about uh, removing their candy from the blizzards. I wonder why the heck they do that. They said because there's too much sugar in those things, and it, it went against their uh, message of moderation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> really? They're a candy yes, company. Yes, chick. And I've, uh, they didn't do it, but I mean, they said it. And I, I've eaten a lot of M&Ms in my life, and never once have it, has it been in moderation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Why would never. they want Here's an idea. Why don't we stop selling our product to people? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, go to the uh, go to the Las Vegas Strip and take a look at the M and M store and see if that doesn't scream moderation. <laughs> uh, my friend Brian Jackson, he freezes his M and Ms. Oh, and I asked him why, and uh, he said it's it, it, it's because you eat less when they're frozen. And then I saw him eat a two pound bag of M and Ms. <laughs> Well, just think how much you would have eaten if that hadn't been frozen. <laughs> you're, you're right, Chick. Yeah. That would have been six yeah. to eight pounds. Chick, yeah. you're right, man. I probably saved his life. Probably did. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the peanut buster parfait was invented by a guy named uh, Forrest Frosty Chapman. Yeah, Frosty. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like your nickname, The Farter. Uh, oh. No, that's uh, we just uh, we just got him cleared. Yeah. <laughs> now you had to bring it. I loved the peanut. They butter said there's thing. uh, you know, I read these like reports on or I don't know websites that have reports on stuff, and uh -huh. there's this big headline that says there's a story behind the name Dairy Queen, and I uh, I clicked on it. The story is uh, the inventor said it was a queen. Among dairy products. <laughs> well, that's a really stupid story. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say it was an interesting story. <laughs> a horrible story, Chick. Yeah. Was, however, uh, I had several people tell me stories this weekend, and I was fantasizing that they were the length of that dairy queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought we had a good phone conversation. I didn't think it was... He was driving back from Lexington. <laughs> you were filling time. That's right. <laughs> You know, in uh, New York City, Manhattan, uh, it took till 2014 
for them to get a Dairy Queen. Oh. And wow. it, uh, it only made it six years. Really? Yeah. Two years longer than I made it in Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> New Yorkers don't like Dairy Queen. Well, oh. they don't like bathroom humor, and that's the problem when you get Greg Warren. <laughs> a lot of fart. Yeah. Man. Yeah. The fart man is what I've heard. I'm not. I'm not going to go into this. <laughs> uh, Mark Fox, Cuban, Fox, uh, the owner of the uh, Dallas Mavericks. Yes. Uh, he used to criticize the officials a lot, and he said the guy Ed Rush, who was the manager of the officials, he said I wouldn't hire him to manage a Dairy Queen. Hmm. And uh, that cost him $500,000. <laughs> wow. Uh, yes. And then Cuban, who's a sort of a PR genius, went uh, to a Dairy Queen in Texas and managed it for a day. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Doesn't a, uh, a Buffett own a Dairy Queen in Omaha? Warren Buffett? Yeah. Warren Buffett owns all the Dairy Queens, Josh. And Oh, like like literally everywhere, or just in that in that area? No, no. He, uh, uh, yeah, his company owns Dairy Queen. Oh, okay. I yeah, think he's they, often they, uh, spotted at an Omaha area Dairy Queen, like with his grandkids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he loves it. He yeah. loves it. Yeah, Warren Buffett's. Uh, what's it called? What's that? Comp oh, Berkshire Hathaway. They own yeah. uh, Dairy Queen. Okay. Dairy Queen also owns uh, Orange Julius and Caramel Corn with a K. Ah, I think uh, Dairy Queen's a much better name than. Hey, honey, you want to go to Berkshire Hathaway and get a cone? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is You're right, much, Tom. Yeah, Way be like Mr. Cohen. He's our accountant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Cohen. <laughs> uh, uh, our guest is Greg Warren. Greg, I don't have your schedule in front of me. Uh, big shows this weekend, Tom, in Dayton, Ohio at the Funny Bone. All nice. right. What, what are you starting, Wednesday or Thursday? It's only it's just a Friday Saturday oh. Uh, oh. gig, yeah. Oh, Mr. Star, a yeah, special engagement only oh, available wow. Friday and Saturday. Oh. I, doing two, are you doing two shows Saturday? Ticket price. Two shows on Saturday, yeah. That'll be wow. great. Funny Bone Date Pretty and Ohio. See Greg. It. Greg's a great stand up. Yes. And um, uh, by the way, Greg does have a couple of uh, so-called specials out there. Mm -hmm. so they're very nice. They are, I know. I don't mean no, 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 no. They they're are so-called. No, no, they're <laughs> absolutely so-called specials. Uh, <laughs> where the field corn grows and the salesman. I highly recommend Greg. That's going to be a great set of shows. I um, wish I could be there to see him. Are you going to be coming by the studio sometime soon, Greg? I need to get in there, man. I, let, let's uh, let's make a plan. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah and if you see you. if you knock and no one answers, just go ahead and get back in your car. She <laughs> 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 couldn't even finish that. <laughs> <laughs> I could cracking himself up. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even continue. <laughs> I made myself laugh so hard. <laughs> just it's so. I don't know why he calls. You're just so mean to him. <laughs> So Just go ahead. <laughs> hey, Greg, I think we should. Uh, hey, guys, are you in there? Guys. Hello. Okay, before we go, we got a little bit of a quiz for you, Greg. Okay. A, a little bit of presidential trivia. We've, we've covered some of this already. Shortest American president. Uh, five foot four. You got any ideas on this one? Founding father. That help uh, Founding father? Yeah. Hmm. No, but no. Was, was it uh, John Adams? No, it was, it was it, John Quincy DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> it's James Madison. He ran. He okay. ran a taxi stand. You know, George Washington was considered to be the greatest uh, horseman in the country. He was also at oh. the, and he was also very tall for that era, which is, m m probably helped him this leadership role. Okay, which uh, which president skinny dipped in the Potomac every morning? Uh, that that sounds like something Jackson would do. Uh, it sure does. It was John Quincy Adams. Would have been really, oh, okay. really, really great if it had been one of the contemporary. Oh, yeah. dude, so awesome! I'm reading a book on his uh, cousin Samuel Adams right now. Oh, know nothing about him. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the one. This is my favorite one, and I don't. I've got to verify this. Um, Martin Van Buren, excuse me, Martin Van Buren coined the use of what word? Is it coochie? No. Okay. No. All right. No, I don't and think so. And it's not... Uh, <laughs> is it thought? <laughs> thought? No, I don't think so. Oh, no. That, that hole over is, there. I think that was Al Jackson. <laughs> yeah. It is okay. The term okay. Really? Yeah. yeah. That, I, that's what he's saying. 
it's just crazy. It's a lie. Wow. Good for <laughs> him. I got to do some more of that. Well, uh, uh, Greg, everyone go see him in Dayton, Ohio. Thank you, Greg. Bye, Greg. We love you. Bye, guys. Stop Good by to Derek talk to you. you. See you, man. Uh, you'd Stop think it would be. Derek <laughs> Wayne today. Oh, jeez. Bye, Greg. Sorry. <laughs>